All right, shalom and praise be unto your whole bunch of me, Oshai, bunch of with Dash. Double honors unto the apostles and the bishop elders at Great Millstone, who are well into loops unto the Akim, who continue to push the word in truth and in sincerity. And I recently went to watch the movie Avatar, um, The Way of Water. Um, I've gone there with my, um, my woman to watch this movie and, um, you know, I've seen the other avatars before. And this one, I mean, I don't want to spoil it for you, Arkham or Arkroft, that I haven't seen it yet, who may be interested in going to watch it. You know, whatever, man. Or watching it at a later date when it's released out on various platforms and things of that nature. But, yeah, I went to um, watch it and without getting into too much detail and spoiler alerts and stuff like in my in my my personal opinion you know it's a three hour long movie about a good two hours and ten minutes is just boring man you know it's boring um <laughs> i went to this cinema where you can actually like order food it's not like the regular cinema it's not one of them um them uh High end uh, Edomite um, areas, man, in the city, you know, you can order food and champagne and wine and all of that, you know. And from time to time, I go to these areas, man, you know, and, you know, they be looking at you like, oh, what's, what are they doing here? What's he and she doing here? You know, in my mind, it's like, yep, get used to my face, bitch, you know, because you're going to be seen as a lot of us. Um, when the when the roles reverse, um, yeah, in the kingdom, man, you know, it's it's whatever, man, but um, yeah, you know, I I I got, um, a glass of their house yayan, and it was fucking shit, man. You know, they kind of put me to sleep halfway through the movie. Anyway, it was boring as all hell, but then, like the last forty five minutes was just action packed. You know, um, and I understand movies have to build up, but man, goddamn, they they played it out, man. But basically, it's it's basically like my interpretation on a base. Like, like I said, if I get into it, I'll be spoiling parts of it. But my interpretation on a base level is that um, it's uh, based on the tribes of Gad and Rawaban, Reuben, um, yeah, Gad and Rawaban, man. And pretty much as usual, um, you know, it wasn't based on them getting pushed on the reservations as it were, but more so um, key elements. I think there was a particular fluid that um, did something special, which I'm not going to get into. And, you know, the the sky people, as they called them, you know, he saw went up in there and the whole fight was for that. And then the family took... Um, took refuge in another tribe and their land, you know, and they had to learn, you know, it's like the two tribes coexisting, man, you know, gathering a while, but, and, you know, seeking asylum and all of that, you know, but pretty much what I'm doing this video, not to come on here and talk about Avatar, man, is to talk about who is the great mother. Now, they were praying, right, sending up supp supplications and they were saying to the great mother, the great mother, all right, and it's and it's called Ewa, Ewa. All right, so I looked it up. You know, it says Ewa, also known as the All Mother or Great Mother, is the biological sentient guidance force of life and deity of Pandora, and the Na uh, the Navi. The Navi believe that Ewa acts to keep the ecosystem of Pandora in perfect equilibrium, and that all things return to Ewa upon their death. And um, obviously, it's in the title of the movie, The Way of the Water. It's all to do with water, right? You know? And, it's, you know, parts of what they were saying in the movie was true. It, all things come from water. And um, water gives life. Water takes life. Um, nothing can flow without water and life, you know? And that's, that's true. Even these Edomite scientists understand this, that whenever they want to find life, even on a cellular level, a microscopic level, the first thing they're looking for is water vapour. Once there's water vapour, 
that's the first uh, indicator of life. Without water vapor, there is no life. You know, so they were on point with that. And um, even when you get into Genesis, um, you know, the, the beasts and the peoples, everything came forth from out of the waters, out of the, the, the deep the sea, man. You know, um, that's why in the islands, you know, for most sicknesses, when you're sick, you know, probably our parents would have done it being told by their parents, but it really came from like our great grandparents and um, grandparents you know, in the islands, um, whenever you were sick, you know, um, you'd be advised to go and take a dip in the sea, you know, go in the sea, go to a beach, you know, um, and take a dip in the sea. Um, because um, that's, that's where, um, the, you know, the, the minerals of, of, of uh, the bases of, of, you know, the, the, the base um, elements of man come from the waters, come from the ground, you know, you take a dip in the sea and you, you book, you know, your sicknesses oftentimes just go away, you know, even certain people, certain men, I think there was one man in the scriptures, um, uh, he, he had losing leprosy, I believe, and um, he was told to go and dip, I think the Lord, Yahweh, I told him, go and take seven dips in the river um, Yaradan, River Jordan, and the seventh time he came up from out of the water, he was he was clean, man. So you know, could get into Leviticus fifteen, the purification laws and all of that stuff, and how it affects the body physically and even the spirit, and you know, um, that's like a different lesson, man. You know, so like I'm kind of ranting, but yeah, they were praying to Awa, man. You know, um, and. You can clearly see, man, if you know the name of the Lord, uh, Yahweh, you can clearly see that is an extreme perversion, but it it, it, it goes back to the name Yahweh, man. All right? You know, Yahweh. All right? You know, Gad, they have the the, um, the, the chant, Gad and Reuben have the chant, yo hey wa yo hey wa yo hey wa she yo hey wa she That's the name of the Father, Yahweh, and the name of the Son, Yahweh Shai. Okay, you know, so Awa really goes back to Yahweh, but the Lord is not a woman, man. All right, the Lord is a man. Okay, um, um, let me see something. Um, just get this right. The Lord is a man of war, the Lord. Exodus fifteen and three, the Lord is a the Lord is a man of war. The Lord Yahweh is his name. All right, you know what these are pronouns. What do what do you go by? He, she, they, them, it, all that bullshit. Look, man, the Lord's pronouns is is he and him. You know, he's a man. Okay, the Lord is a man. That oh, you know, and I've been seeing a lot of shit this week. That's been pushing that whole vibration of, well, if there is a God, it has to be a woman. That's some bullshit, man. All right? That is crazy, man. Don't, come on. All right? Now, they say Mother Earth because the Earth has a spirit itself. Now, when you check it, what's the spirit of, of the Earth? Would it, would it be a feminine spirit? You know, planet Earth, is it a feminine spirit or a masculine spirit? Well, planet Earth is a feminine spirit because seed, the ground gets ploughed, you know, over here in England, you know, um, there's like a, a phrase, you know, like, look, you know, like urban talk, I guess you can put it like that, you know, I'm a plough my girl, you know, I'm a plough my woman, that, that goes back to the scriptures, man, you know, if you plough your woman means that you, you, you're doing your thing, you're up in her, man, all right, well, the earth gets ploughed. And then when you come to the end of <coughs> when you come to the end of that, you release seed in her, no? Well it's the same thing, you plough the ground and then you lay the seed. So the earth because the the earth does have a spirit. Planet Earth does have a spirit. The spirit of planet Earth is, is that of a feminine spirit, yes. But the earth didn't make itself. 
you know. So all of this mother nature is bullshit, man. All right, it all goes back to the heavenly father, man, who who made the earth, man. Okay, you know, you know, straight up, man. The blueprint of of the of of existence comes from the Lord Yahweh, but concerning planet Earth, again, that too comes from the Lord Yahweh, man. All right, so the Most High is not a feminine energy making a feminine energy or spirited planet. It's a masculine, um, it's a masculine power, a man, the Most High, who created uh the concept of planet Earth, man. You know, and gave it a feminine uh, 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 spirit. You know, people do that to this day. You know, they people name their cars. Oh, yeah, her name's Shirley. You know, you know, things are often attributed to feminine um, um, spirits or, you know, related to and spoken of. Yeah, because it, 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 is, it relates to, uh, it serves a greater purpose onto a greater being. Just like a woman, obviously a woman's feminine, right? But she serves a greater purpose than just being a woman onto a greater being. First being her father, then when she gets married off her husband, okay? So yes, the earth is feminine in spirit, but it serves a greater purpose as a footstool unto the Lord. All right, the scriptures say that the earth is, is, is a, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness therein, you know? The earth is the footstool of the Lord. Scriptures like that, man. But I really want to home in on the Lord as a man. Okay, here's, here's one. Um, let me see something. Um, not a man that he should lie. Yeah, Numbers 23 and 19. Um... It says, uh, God is, says, people use this scripture. Yeah, God is not a man, you see. No, it's talking about what, he's not a man in terms of um, earthly worms, all right? You know, because we're worms, man. God, you know, the most is not like no regular individual. He's supreme. He's above that. He's all the more masculine than man, men on earth. He's all the more manly than what you perceive to be a man on earth. So he's not just a regular man that he should leave a lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. He, all right? Have he said and shall not do it? Or have he spoken and shall not make it good? Meaning um, to make good on something is to see to completion, you know? But, but there you go. The Lord is not no just regular man. He's more masculine than man. He's, his word's more reliable than man. The Lord don't turn back. The Lord don't lie. Alright, you know, straight up, man. You know, the Lord is a man. Okay, the name Yahweh itself is a masculine name. The name Yahweh Shai is masculine. So, what the hell are they trying to push in this avatar uh, thingy, man? You know, Awa. In fact, let me see something if I go back. And there was other things in that movie as well, but you know, that's a couple of things. A A A one meaning. See, it's coming up with Arabic stuff, but I'm not surprised because Arabic is just a sister language, bastardized version of Hebrew. You know, a what? Yeah, it just says that, but there's no. Keeping all things in equilibrium. And equilibrium is balance, so that's right and left hand side stuff. But again, that's that's all the most high man, it's Yahweh. But I show me how was shy, not no mother feminine spirit. Ridiculous man. But again, you know what agenda that tries to fulfill, man. You know? Anyways with that amount, man. Shall I?